going on YouTube? You know who this is. Brand new video for you guys today. I was requested to check out this video. It's called Top 10 Call of Duty Moments. Now listen, uh, I was introduced to Call of Duty when I was a young child, okay, from a cousin. Shout out to you. Um, I forgot which Black Ops it was. All I know is we were back-to-back -back shooting zombies. Shit, we were partnered up, paired up. Couldn't nobody do shit. We was doing what we had to do to survive from them damn zombies. It was the one with the creepy-ass laugh or whatever. Uh, after, like, you die or some shit with the music on. If somebody uh, knows that one by heart, let me know in the comment section. Um, also, I really enjoyed Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I believe, with the guy from uh, uh, one of the cop shows. I don't know if it's CSI. Don't judge me. It's been a minute. But uh, anyway, let's check it on out. Top 10 Call of Duty moments. This is on WatchMojo.com. So I'll leave the original link in the description. You want to check out, you know, the original link or whatever by yourself. Whatever. So without any further ado, let's get on into it. Got my Nipsey Hustle Blue on. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. In about three, two, one. <laughs> When duty calls, it screams one word, epic. Oh Welcome yes. to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our top 10 moments from Call of Duty. Please be advised, this list contains both spoilers and mature content. Let's go. Damn, right in his eyeball. To keep things fair and exciting, we've decided to stick to the Call of Duty games from the current console generation. The originals were groundbreaking and amazing, but starting from Modern Warfare, Call of Duty was a different breed altogether. This Word. is gonna be one hell of a highlight reel. Number 10, Enemy at the Gates. At the gate. The guys who make these games definitely watch a lot of movies for inspiration, and why not? When going for the cinematic effect, why not borrow a bit from cinema? Well, borrowing more than just a bit from the classic scene in Enemy at the Gates, Patient players are treated to some good old-fashioned revenge, Stalingrad style. Wait until the bombers are directly overhead. The sound of the engines will drown out your shot. Ready? I want to play this shit, y'all. Shoot! Oh! Ooh, number nine, fan service flashback. Get out now! Go, go, go! Damn. Having a nice piece of fan service, or just to make sure you've been paying attention, after the tragic death of Damn, Soap in Modern Warfare 3, a very pissed he's off fucking Captain dead. demands to know why your character knows Makarov. Why in bloody hell does Makarov know you? Flashback to a different perspective on the key plot points from the last two games, where we discover that you, or rather Yuri... Oh shit, is that a wrong. nuke? God damn! I understand, Yuri. This that looks like hell. Number eight. You this think? Looks familiar. Infinity Ward is not very subtle when it comes to what movies inspired the set pieces in their games, and nowhere is it more obvious than in Modern Warfare 2. Clearly, they have seen The Rock a few times, from the scuba entrance by the Navy SEALs to the shootout in the Gulag shower room, right down to the mad dash with the flare to the top of the White House. Michael Bay might want to call his lawyer. Number seven, all gillied up. Follow me and keep low. When Call of Duty 4 came out, the franchise had grown stale in World War II, and many mistakenly expected the foray into modern times to be the series' death rattle. Instead, every mission oh, was pulse pounding and packed with breathtaking novelty, delivering yeah, moments that gamers had never seen before. Like he and missed among these, one. the ghillie suit levels really stood out. After running and gunning for hours, this level turned the pace down and took things real All slow. on the damn floor, that's what I'd like. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know about oh, you, but I held my breath as the tank passed over me. Hell to the air. That's what I love about these games. Like, Number you could like, not duck real low. Like walking. Okay, remember how we said that the guys who make these games have definitely used a lot of movies for inspiration? Well, clearly right. the bad guys in this scene had seen Deer Hunter and gotten a bit inspired as well. Come to this piece of shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh. oh Always killing so the black dude. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Mason decides yeah, he's that he's not going out like Christopher Walken and takes action. Did he mouth this mother? Ooh. Bet you by golly, wow, well, bitch! <laughs> ah! I think you gone. That slow motion Number shooting five. shit is everything. Air Force fun. If we can out end our differences, at least that's gunfire. Hijackers are taking the plane. Go, go, go! Team three, start to report. 
playing a Russian air marshal. The president, who was the president at that time? Bush? And save the president, I even if it's it just because you're the only one who can trigger the checkpoints. Right. Seriously though, Ooh. this is a standout scene in a game that was trying a bit too hard to I want to go back and play some of these, like, I didn't get a chance to play all of them. I think that much gunfire would result in catastrophic loss of cabin pressure. But if it did, you'd never live to see this part. Holy shite. Damn! Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's definitely dead. That's way worse than the crash from GTA 5. Number four, Spooky. We got a moving vehicle spooky. here. Spooky. Negative, negative. Do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. Disengage. I repeat, disengage. Highway. sections are rarely fun. They were cool back in 1999 when they were all new, but nowadays they generally end up feeling like fluff and filler. Hot damn. Despite this, and despite the fact that death from above was are those missiles or just bombs and shit? Came to the real thing. I'm yeah, confused. Yeah, good kill. I see lots of little pieces down there. Your ride nah, in the AC-130 no was just another bitch. example of how Call of Duty 4 consistently delivered the unexpected with every level. Roger that. Returning to base. Number three, hang around. You know you're at the end of a Modern Warfare modern game Warfare if your character 3. is on the ground, bleeding to death. Well, probably. After the epic final shot in Modern Warfare 1 and the completely over-the-top knife throw in Modern Warfare 2, oh, yeah, he where could they possibly go? That damn well, on his neck. through the roof, of course. Hang his ass. Good night. Oh, yeah, he's definitely dead. I think he's dead. Damn. He's fucking dead. Number two, helicopter jump. <laughs> Shit. Go, go, go. Clearly the folks at oh, Infinity oh, War oh, think oh, it's oh. pretty epic to jump off a rooftop and do it in his damn death. Because you do it in right. every one of their games. Technically, the Modern Warfare franchise is bookended by helicopter jumps, as the first mission Word? from number one and the last mission from number three both include them, making the epic helicopter jump a series trademark. Damn. <laughs> Y'all heard that? <laughs> number one. The nuke. Oh damn! Oh before, damn! Oh Call damn! Duty 4, Modern Warfare was Them full nukes of ain't nothing to fuck up with. The kicker. Whoa! Y'all see that fall out, bitch? Oh! Oh! So oh! 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 Not only does a nuclear bomb go off in your face, but your character welcome to fall out, bitch. before expiring completely. Look at that! Look at After that! This, I would hate to be by that was shit. Off the table. Nothing was safe. Nothing was sacred. Radiation and all just run through your, your damn hair and skin and out? blood. Let us know in the comment section and for more flame inducing topics. Man, y'all, it's just amazing how over the years, whenever uh, the Call of Duty franchise first began, uh, how different graphics look from then to now. Like so much more lifelike and more gory with the blood and more, you know, even more action packed. Like, you know, like it's a damn movie, like for real. Because, I mean, when it comes to games like Call of Duty, uh, Grand Theft Auto, any type of game where you can play online with your friends or all that. That's cool and all, but it's nothing like a good story. Like, I don't care what y'all say. It's nothing like a good story to these type of games. That's why uh, Call of Duty, I believe it was 3. I think it was 3. The one that came out in, what was that, 2017, I think? 2017? 2016, maybe? Something like that. Maybe even earlier. I don't remember. It's, it's been a minute. But anyway, listen. Uh... That that was a good story, and then uh, it was another one. I forgot exactly which one. It's just so many, y'all. Forgive me, but hey, I'm a fan of the Call of Duty games. But um, seriously, there's nothing like a good story mode. I mean, just like with Red Dead Redemption, uh, especially the second one, Arthur, R.I.P. Mm, mm, mm. Damn tuberculosis. But anyway, the online shit, that's cool. That's cool. You know, I don't mind getting on there, but at the same time, I like, when it comes to gaming, I love a game with a good story. Like, you know, I love I love shooting games. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait for the new Wolfenstein to come out. Uh, Young Blood. You know what I'm saying? W does anybody know when E3 starts? Somebody let me know, okay? Because I'm ready to react to some trailers. I don't know what the hell coming out. Like I said with E3, you just don't know. You kind of know a little bit of something, but you don't fully know. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're there. I and that's one thing I would love to do one day in life is to go to the E3 event. Like for real, for real, for real. Yeah. Once again, there's nothing like a good story to a video game nothing better i don't care what y'all say it's like a movie in a game you gotta have a cutscene, and then you gotta go get to the action you gotta get to the fighting you gotta get to shooting something you know what i'm saying you gotta complete a damn mission but with all of that being said if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button comment below what's one of your favorite call of duty games let me know in the comment section and if there's anything else that I can react to for you guys, let me know that in the comments as well. Please hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. You guys can let me know that as well. In my DMs. Okay, nothing crazy. Um, 
And hit that notification bell. Okay? It's Taylor Rain. I'm out this thing.